Hey guys, we just wanted to take a quick moment to thank everybody for supporting us. We don't have Patreon per se, so the way you can help us uh, and support us is if you like, subscribe, and leave a positive review. That would help us so much. Thank you. Maybe tell a friend. Maybe tell a friend to listen. How about that? Throw that in. Go ahead. Thank you. No, go to, go ahead. Say tell a friend. Oh, tell a friend. There. La, 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 la. She really hates him. It's really true. <sighs> testing one, two, testing, testing. Does everything sound okay everywhere amongst uh, all the participants? I can hear you. What was that? I said I can hear you. I know, I heard you. I heard you. Should you should turn one of your lights off. It's a little bright. I don't want to get up again. Okay, all right. Okay, calm down. I've been up three or four times. I just got, you know, my... Standing up is taking its toll on you. It's just up and down. I'm tired. I was up at 6.30 today. I had to go return my rental car and pick up my car, and it's still not even finished. Why? What's wrong with it? I had two little dents in the back when I backed into the mailbox, and I broke the tail light, so I got to get that fixed because, you know, there was a tail light... If water gets in it, then the electrical system fucks up. So I had, but the tail light hasn't come in. But they fixed the two little dents and scratches, and uh, I picked up my car. I get an email from my sister. We still got to keep. Pay I still got to keep paying fucking money to the cemetery for my brother and mother's funeral. The plaques, two little plaques on the ground, are five thousand dollars. $2,500 a piece for two fucking plaques like this, you know, 2500 a piece. Uh, you know, they won't let you make your own. I can make one, a nice one, at, you know, whatever, or go somewhere. You got, you got to do it. They're just fucking scumbags. I own that piece of land, I thought. I bought that fucking, uh, that plot, you know. Uh, where where they're buried. Why can't I do what I want on there? I should be able to build on there. It's my fucking land. I paid all that money, and now I got to pay another fucking five grand or whatever, 2,500 split between me and my... And I told my sister to send me the proposal from the cemetery because who knows if she's ripping me off. They might wow. only be... Wow. Wow, well, well, what? I mean... That's like, <coughs> huh? That's some deep shit there, man. I mean, that your sister would be, that you. Did I think my sister would rip me off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's. Everybody's out to make money during a pandemic. That's what they say during a pandemic. You really think your sister would be ripping you off? Like the idea, like I would just pay it no matter what my sister told me. And then. Like, my sisters wouldn't rip me off. But I, even the idea that if I oh, well, thought they were ripping me off, I'd be like, that seems no, I like just a crazy thought on my center. part. I just want to see the whole proposal. Is that asking too much? Yeah, a little. Like, just pay what she's telling you to pay. Like, no, oh, really? Yes, really. You know her track record. L listen, if she's asking you to overpay by a couple of dollars here and there, what's... I mean, how much could it possibly be? She's not taking thousands of dollars out of your pocket. Well, she can't be because it's only twenty five hundred a piece. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. It's like just. I just want to see. You really the think? Cemetery. Do you really think in your heart of hearts that your sister's ripping you off? Not at all. No. At all. So then you're just doing. You're asking for that, whatever it is, just to be a weird dick on your part. No, I'm not being a weird dick. I want records of what I pay out in life in case I need it for taxes. Oh, because well, now you see, this is what happens. I, 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 I get you a little bit, push back a little bit on you. You get oh, cornered. Then you go, oh, no, no. It's something completely different. Do you like sure. receipts? Do you need receipts when you spend? I never ask for a receipt. They, they, they always say, you want a receipt? I go, no. Nah. Even if you were spending fucking, because you know why it's all on my credit card. It's all you, you got receipts. They're, they're, no, they're I'm there. writing a check. Then you got a receipt from your fucking check. Quit scratching your hair, your bugs. 
and concentrate. Adult, stop. See, you're trying to change the subject. You're trying to like. There is no subject. I brought up yes, the subject. You're like, I don't trust my sister. I have a I don't deep, trust. like you're, you're, uh, uh, I, I'm surprised you got a vaccine. You have such a deep distrust of everything. Oh, I didn't really get one. We, uh, I wonder if you can get, <laughs> get the real one. What do you mean the real one? Well, because you got the. Uh, oh, Johnson Johnson. You got, you got the one that was on sale. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got oh. the one where you only had to get one, one, um, one shot. Shot. Where are you at now? In your hotel room. It's an apartment. They've got me an apartment. Oh, when do you think you're coming home? I I'm supposed this, to. Work. I keep thinking this is what it's like if I was divorced. Except I wouldn't be doing this podcast. Living on my own. Yeah. Me and my dog. Going to the movies by yourself. I went to the movies. The the. When the preview started, I started crying. Why? I'd already eaten all my popcorn. Whoa. <laughs> I get it, man. You couldn't wait no, to do that fucking joke. It was emotional. It was like I realized I hadn't seen a movie in over two years, like in a movie theater. It hasn't been two years. I'm sure it has. Because also, I didn't go to a movie before that because I was working so much. Before the pandemic, mm-hmm. you weren't working that much. Oh, really? <laughs> Was it before the pandemic? Before the pandemic, I'd gone to LA to work on something, the Independent Spirit Awards, in which I won a grant, uh, Emmy. Then I went. What word do you forget when you say you won an Emmy? And I'm very proud of you. But what word do you forget? <laughs> There's no other word. Words necessary. <laughs> you don't have to say the other part. Oh, okay. This is Hollywood, okay? And then... Um, it wasn't a tie, was it? No. Okay. How many people won Emmys from that show? 250 people. No, from no. your... Uh, I know, I don't know. That's was, That was the joke. That oh. I have no idea how many writers were on. Oh, can I tell the story? Well, after I finished what I was saying, because, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll Go forget. ahead with your complaining about your sisters cheating no, you out saying. of your dead relatives' uh, plots. It's the plot against the plots. Ooh. <laughs> plot against the funeral plots with well, Richard Vaughn. I'm coming to Austin this Thursday. My sister is cheating me making me pay for my family's plots <laughs> okay go ahead sorry so i'm doing austin the creek and cave thursday through saturday yes i'm excited to see you and i fucking booked my flight home for monday when i could have flown home sunday i Why'd didn't you know do that? just change it i made a mistake I think. and Raina too yeah obviously monday. Wow. I'm not going to be able to change it. It's going to cost hundreds of dollars, I think. Well, we'll hang out on Sunday. Uh, but I got upgraded going there. Already? Do I give it to Raina? No, you worked hard, but I mean, I might if I was you, but I wouldn't say you had to. Well, see, I'm in the emergency exit row seat, and she's right behind me. If I give it to her, then I got to go take her. Wait, I thought you got upgraded. Yes, but my original seat was the emergency exit row window seat. Right. And she can't sit in the emergency exit row because she's too young. When you go there, say, hey, can my daughter sit in first No, spot? yeah, no. But I don't want to move back to her seat. Oh, my God. Because her seat's small. It's not the emergency I'm exit sure row window. I'm sure they can window. figure it out for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, they'll just move her. They'll just move the seats. It'll be fine. Trust me. You don't have to like. There's. I don't understand the overthinking this. And God forbid you have to sit one seat back, or just let, leave her there, and you sit in the fucking. First I wouldn't class. leave her. I don't there. know why you brought it up to me before. It's like weighing on you. It's like it doesn't. It's not have to weigh weighing on me. I just a got the email. When you get to the airport. I just got the email, so I'm trying to plan ahead. You didn't just get the email because... Yes, I got the upgrade to, email. Oh, you said if I do get upgraded. No, I am upgraded. No, but before, because Raina was in the car when you were oh. like... Yeah, that was before, but today I just got the email that I'm upgraded. Right. All right, tell the stories. 
you're, what is wrong with you? Do you understand, like, this is performance. <laughs> this is a thing that you're doing. This isn't like, this is a performance. Is that how? It's, yes, you're, this is like you're putting out content for, oh. like, people to consume. It's not like, hey, anybody want to watch me be angry about my sister? I'm not angry at all. I'm very calm. You turn it into anger. It's I'm sitting here you're very... It's just like your... You're, okay, tell your story. Do you understand? Do you see what I'm saying? All right, go. It's like, what if you were on another podcast? Is this how you'd be behaving? Depends which one it is. It depends how big it is and how many listeners. What if you were on stage? Like, you won't even look at me it, through the camera. Like, what, what are you, are you looking about? at? I'm looking at my computer. How? What do you mean? Look at you through the camera? I can't. There look you at go. You look in the camera. When well, you're then why would I look in the camera? Then I can't see you. I'm looking at you. Are you crazy? How can I look through the camera? You if don't. If you look see through the camera, it looks like you're making eye contact with me. Yeah, but okay. Look, does that look like I'm making? Yeah, eye have contact? you never done any kind of like news like thing or anything? Yes, like, I've done it all. Well, you have to look at the camera. Yeah. Also, why are you wearing those glasses? Oh my God, this is a performance. If you were on stage, well, would you, you ask? If you, why would wouldn't you, you know, wear your good glasses? Because I they're up in my room. I forgot them. You look ridiculous with your you backwards know, baseball cap and your big bald forehead. I'm getting bald, bald, bald. Look at that. Can you see my baldness? No. Only when you put your hat on. All right from here down, I'm losing all my hair. When it's so wet, then don't wear a hat. Stop. That has nothing to do with anything. It's from stress. <laughs> nothing to do with it. Na the natural aging process. But I'm saying don't wear a hat, not because it's I'm going to be. I'm going to have no like, hair right in the like, middle. Listen, I'm going to have no hair right in the middle and on the sides. I'm going to look like all those other old people. Time there's a lot of, like, there's men in their 30s that have gone bald. Yeah. I'm the, just saying, like, you should appreciate your hair now. Like, let it, if you got it, flaunt it kind of a thing. Oh, okay. Show everybody your brush. All right, go ahead. No. Tell your good story. It was a good story when you told me. Are you going to be charming and entertaining? And look You're at just the telling the story. I'm an audience member. Look in the camera. I'm an audience member now. Well, you can help out with the story. It's kind of funny. How am I going to help out? I'll go, oh, wow. Funny. No, I heard the Joking story. Joking about it on the phone. You were like making jokes about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I, I, I remember, let's go. Um, so, when you win an Emmy, if you're not the main person, you have to buy your own well, Emmy. I'm sure they give a couple. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, if you're not the, like, I don't know whoever, I don't know if the executive producer gets it, I don't know who actually gets the Emmy, but for me to get the Emmy, I had to buy it. So they sent out an email to everyone saying like, the Independent Spirit Awards guy did. He said, hey, congratulations, you guys won an Emmy. If you wanna get the actual statuette, follow this link, you know, whatever. So I wasn't gonna get it. And then Rich was like, you have to get it. And then now I'm so glad that I did. It's, of yeah, course. It's beautiful. How would you get not it. get it? So the, the thing is, is that the actual statuette is, like four hundred ninety-five dollars or something. Why don't you just say five hundred? I was gonna say like you know, I, I'm not hundred percent sure how much it was, but it's somewhere in the neighborhood of five hundred dollars. And, but you can get like different things. You can get a certificate. I think is like forty-five dollars. A plaque is two hundred fifty dollars. I don't know. There's different prices for different things that you can. You gotta get. get the statue. Yes. So I did. I. Put it on my credit card, got the statue. 
we actually already got it. I haven't seen it in person, but it's at the house, right? Very heavy. It is? It's I fucking love that. extremely heavy. Wow. They always say that when they're accepting their award. Anyway, one of the writers is very upset that he has to pay for his own Emmy and was complaining to me about it. And then he wrote in the on the like email chain where you know the the independent spirit award guy was like, Hey, here's how you get your Emmy. And he was saying like it's so awful that the Emmys won't pay for it and that if the Emmys won't pay for it, then the Independent Spirit Awards should pay for it. And the guy wrote back and said, I understand your concerns. I'm terribly sorry, but we don't have it in our budget to buy everyone an Emmy. And then another writer wrote, this is pretty awful. Wait, but did that writer contribute a lot to, uh, <laughs> to the I don't want to go that far. Uh, well, I will. I don't want to go that I far. Will. I'll go that far. No, because I know that he listens to the podcast. Uh, I'm sure he wrote a lot. <laughs> so he. I don't even know him. Is he, is he, he a comic? Is he a he, comic? He's he's, I guess, kind of an open so, micer. What? He's like a professional open micer. He's been doing it. No, no, he's he's a blue check, but he's like a man of all trades, I guess. But he didn't he didn't write the full. He didn't write the full. Um, he, he he wrote just, f I don't know. He didn't write as much as some of the other people on the show. Well, maybe he was he not employed as many days as other people. Let's oh. say that. I Listen, I get it. When I wrote on fucking different things, I only did what I wanted to do. Okay. Well, no, I mean, he was only hired for like the last portion, we'll say. So the Last um, hour? <laughs> so anyway, um, then one of the other writers wrote, like, this is pretty awful. And he goes, but maybe Wait, there's you, some. Isn't yes. the other writer comes from a super wealthy family? Yes, uh, that is that is what I've heard. So this other writer writes, oh, this is kind of awful. And maybe something can be done about it. And maybe we should start. Maybe we could start a GoFundMe for the writers who need help <laughs> getting their Emmys. A fucking GoFundMe to get my Emmy. Getting, starting a GoFundMe. Hey, listen, I'm putting <laughs> a new stereo. I'm Emmy. putting a surround sound stereo system in my basement. I like to get a GoFundMe. Uh, I'm going to start no. a GoFundMe for my Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oh. Guys, come on. I need it. <laughs> it's important. I know you need a kidney transplant, but this is like super important for me to wait, get my. Wait, there's there's people stuck in Afghanistan that are just praying to get out. But listen, I don't want to bother you for my. Uh, <laughs> I know people are like. I, I, I don't want to bother you for my GoFundMe, but I need to put new new trees on my front lawn. The deer ate the other ones. Uh, can you help me? I mean, there seems like there's nothing more frivolous. Than getting people to help you pay for your Emmy statuette. Like if you don't get the statuette, you still have the Emmy. Like it can be looked up. You could you could get a certificate. Yeah. If you couldn't afford it. Or you could That's borrow. Like, Here, here's proof I won my. Won, I did win an Emmy. Yeah. For my thirty six. No, hours I I I agree. I agree with the GoFundMe. I think everybody that needs. <laughs> Help anyone in, out there who needs help buying their Emmy? Let's get that GoFundMe started. GoFundMe, and the person that said we should do a GoFundMe comes from a wealthy family. How about you call home and say, "Hey, can you help?" Uh, yeah, it's like just why don't you just write the check? Yeah, why don't you just buy everybody? But also, you're obviously you've like we got paid. Like when you when you get an actual writing job, you you get paid pretty well. So. Uh, Depends. What? For the most part. 25 minimum a week. What does that mean? 2,500 minimum. It's 2,500 and above. Oh. I mean, what? it's like, it's like writing is. I think. I mean, it's a craft and it's hard and I get it, but people complain about writing so much. It's insane. Like on Twitter, you know, there's writing Twitter 
screenplay, Twitter, whatever, where people compl- and all they do is complain about how hard writing is. And it's like, well, go get another job then. Maybe this isn't for you. I was. Uh, They're like people who <coughs> people who love writing aren't good at it. It's like that's such. What do you mean, if people that makes who you love feel better, writing? Oh, if people, that helps you sleep at night, go ahead. Wait, Say people it. who writes, people who love writing, aren't good at writing. Who writes that? I mean, people who are not good at writing, like they're always like, it, it's like this weird thing where they love complaining about how hard it is to write. It's their favorite thing to do. It's they spend hours on Twitter complaining about how hard writing is. Oh, well, maybe. It's like, well, it's maybe, a, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Mm-hmm. Well, we could tell by what you just written on Twitter. What? Uh, what they wrote on Twitter. Oh, what they Twitter wrote, yeah. On Twitter. Last night at the stand, so I'm standing there, and so, I mean, I'm sitting there, and then DeRosa, Florentine, and some girl are talking. So I walk over, and DeRosa goes, uh, this is my friend, something, Susan. I shake her hand. Then we're standing there, and he goes, Susan, tell him... Uh, what you do, what you, so she started to go into this thing. We're starting a website where we're going to be bigger than Twitter, where uh, you could say whatever you want, and as she's doing this long thing, I just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I mean, you right. should keep your fucking right. Uh, right in the middle of her short if it's for <laughs> right in the middle of her dumb pitch. That's hilarious. and I She's walked pissed off. All I could hear was fucking Derosa cracking up from the other room. <laughs> but also, people who try to start remember yeah. those people that tried to start a social media and they like hounded us forever to be on it. Oh yeah, enough with your Fox News Twitter. You know, it's like. Uh, there's no uh, restrictions and no yeah, that, that'd be good that's good for the trolls too hey let's well, give them this is what happens it's like that um, it got shut down eventually but it becomes just like hate disgusting it's hate speech people talking about yeah hate speech and pedophilia and all that shit is this a, a pedophilia joke is this gross uh if you have to ask. I go, my daughter saw me naked the other day, and I go, ugh, it's not like my wife where I got to explain to her, no, it's so much nicer when it's hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> you laughed. <laughs> no, you can't do that. That's disgusting. Uh-huh. That's disgusting. <laughs> but it's funny. No. <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> Even the first part is already, like, super uncomfortable. I know, it's very gross, but... I mean, she didn't, but sometimes kids do walk in on you. Like, you, I bet your Raina has walked in on you naked all the time. Yeah, she goes, goes ah, my eyes. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I read on on uh, on the internet yesterday, what's his name? The actor Daniel, Daniel Craig, who's worth $160 million, said, I'm not leaving any of my money to my kids. First of all, it's got to be a slow publicity day where you come out. Oh, maybe not use the word publicity if it's that hard. No, I said a slow publicity day. I know, but it's like it hurts my heart to hear no, you say publicity slow publicity day. day. <laughs> it's a slow publicity day, okay? <laughs> How about it just say slow news day? It's a slow news day for Daniel go. Craig. <laughs> or sl- No, a slow publicity day. It's like so much. What? I didn't do any slurping. You know what you need to get is that thing that dentists have. Oh, that have. the dentists have. And then well, while I do every every 15 minutes when the, doing the podcast. It's a slow publicity day. No, publicity first, is not coming all, out correctly. It is publicity day. Okay, there you go. Uh, first of all, that's the, you know, especially with celebrities. Oh, my God. Ex- <laughs> this is not a good story for you to yes. talk about. Especially with celebrities, uh, attention is their number one drug. I mean, there's no drug. You know, uh, heroin has nothing on likes. Nothing. Because people will do whatever they can. For, a, a, a person will throw their baby over a fence into a pool you know, for a thousand likes. And, you know, nobody cares. But anyhow, he, he says... Heroin not, could never get people to do what likes can. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? 
Yeah, or heroin has nothing on likes. Oh, same you stand thing. by I, that one. Oh, uh, heroin can never do. Okay, you said first of all a while back, so now as second of all. No, why would you do that? Why would you do, think about what you just did? Think about wow. it. You were having trouble. I wasn't having speaking. trouble. You you had too much juice in your mouth. And, oh, really? And so You're going to be anti-Semitic. You know, so you just put, you just put an, a piece of gum in your mouth. You're going to be anti-Semitic. What, how's that? You said too many Jews in my mouth. Too much juice. Well. I'm sure you've never had Jew in your mouth. Well, I could be wrong. All right. So anyhow. Why Someone would you like do, what would, what would possess you? What's going on in your head? That Nicorette gum, that's addictive, right? That someone would be like, hey, your, your juices are making it hard to listen to you. And you're like. <laughs> your dog is making it. Go get the dog. Let me see the dog. <laughs> Who barked? That wasn't her. Yeah, she's barking. <sighs> Well, well, let me see if she hears my voice. Allie. Allie. Allie, nothing. Allie. 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 Look at you with your little dog. You think you're Zsa Zsa Gabor. Uh, thank you for that <laughs> reference from 400 years ago. Oh, look, it's uh -huh. Ava Gabor. <laughs> so, someone like Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig, who's probably, you know, they say one of the sexiest men in Hollywood, I guess. Do they say that? Yeah, I, I guess, you know, in People magazine. Wasn't also. he like um, 007 or whatever? I don't know his size, but uh, he... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Are you fucking kidding? No, I don't know what 007... I'm telling, I'm telling you the story, so don't you think I know... Well, I thought you'd explain what, like, you use the word that I need that I can't remember. Bond. Okay. Yes, he, So he's born extremely good-looking. He's, you know, uh, he does, I don't know how many James Bond films, at least two, maybe three, but definitely two. You know, uh, 20 to 30 million a film and it's not like it's olivier acting you know he's it's an action movie They're but it, good. what are you trying to say who cares what's that what i'm saying is he gets movies for 20 million dollars or 30 million uh he's very good looking he's won the lottery in life he he's won the lottery like you say you know and he's not giving his kids any money from his inheritance 160 million but you know to his kids He's their lottery. So he wins the lottery and says, well, you can't win the lottery. You know, when he's away for three or four months, you know, on set, you know, cashing in his lottery ticket, you know, and his kids are being raised by a nanny, and then they grow up with, like, Jamaican accents, you know. Uh, Richard, pull back. Pull what? back. What's that? What do you mean go back? So pull his kids are back. They're raised with Jamaican accents, and now they're in school. I said pull back, and you doubled down. And the, and jocks are beating them up because they think they're stoners. <laughs> they're, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, and, you know, what's that worth? What's it, you know, I hate when he said, I or, you know, if I had $160 million, I'm leaving. Look, even if my daughters were, you know, call girls, I would still leave them money, you know. I mean, when they were dancers, I would tip them. Rich. So that's that. That's what Florentine gave me the end of that. Florentine's a creep. I was telling him my. Now don't bit. use that. That 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 wrecks the joke. I wouldn't well, use it. The joke when you first told it to me was much funnier. You said he got lucky in life, and they, you know, they were supposed to get lucky in life. No, I said he won the lottery in life, and he's their lottery. You didn't say that. You said yes. you used the word lucky. No, you told me, which is funny. And you, you went, you, you, you've now gone too deep into it with the Jamaican nanny. And that's funny. They grow up with a Jamaican accent. Come on. No, it's yes. not. It doesn't add yes. to it. I did it last night. Not it a value big, add. I got a big laugh. Of course, the audience is the worst judge of comedy. You're right. That's keeping it real. 
Okay. He's keeping it you. real. We were, we, I don't know if he's keeping it or not, but Nick, our producer, just cut in and stopped and said, Bonnie's mic is screwed up. That's what, what that's why we have producers. No, we God. have a, we only have one producer. We don't have producers. We well, have producer. I like to say that he's as good as two producers. So. Are you that is that's it? Did you freeze? Oh no, I'm <laughs> no, waiting. No, I'm, your mic screwed up, so I think you should apologize and take it, move on. Wait, go. we were talking about your joke. I'm done with that. You're done with it. So I'll how make it, it work been? on stage. I'll make it what? work. We got to clean the house today for at least do the floors. Floors Why are gross. Why don't you get a housekeeper? I I got to sign up again on that. Uh, it's, do you want me to do it? Do you want me to no, find you one? No, 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 because I need to interview him. I need to see who's coming to my house. Okay, well, it's it's it shouldn't take that. It shouldn't be that. And hard. what do you say? You hey, like, you you know, a housekeeper. What are you gonna do? What do you say? Clean that. Clean. I could, what what they're gonna do? I could easily do the floors. What else are they gonna do? Vacuum. I, I, I will say this, Rich. If you, if you have them come in one time and do it, you're gonna notice a huge change. I'm telling you. It's like you do not see the things that need to be done. I know because when I went home last time, I was like, this is a lot of work. No, you said how good it looked. When I you did because I, I was impressed by how much you had done. Yeah, but so I didn't miss anything. A couple dusting. I didn't say you missed anything. You're, you're being so defensive. Well, There's what you're saying that, that I that what I'm saying that you don't know that are hard to do. But what they do, I could do just as easy. What are then they going to do different? Then why haven't you done it? I did it last time when you came home, and I'll do no, it but today. Do it, you're, you got to do it like a, a, once a week. I, at least. I clean all the time as we're going okay, along. So then don't get a housekeeper. I'm sorry I brought it up. You're doing fine. I well, if I, I'm going to get a year for you, and I think that it will. I don't know why you're pushing. Okay, me I will get a housekeeper, but I got to start a GoFundMe to get my housekeeper. Yes, That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, to help pay for it. They're getting uh, me a housekeeper every Wednesday for this. And it's like, there's really no, I mean, it's just me. So there's. No I think uh, we should keep Raina home. Well, maybe not. Why? So you're you're going to be gone Sunday. You're going to be gone Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Do you really think that's appropriate? No, I, I don't. No, then bring her. It's ridiculous. I got to see if I can change my flight. Nah, I'm already upgraded. <coughs> oh, coming home, I mean. Well, coming home, you can try to change it, or we could, like, spend Sunday together. Oh, what can we do? I don't know. There's lots to do. Is there a lot of homeless people in Austin? There's an, we have a nice pool. There's a nice workout room here. There's, like, um, you know... A huge park with like all kinds of games and stuff. There's like a really nice area you can walk around. It's really gentrified where we are. Should I bring my golf club? Nah, I'm not bringing. There's a golf clothes. course right next to us. Uh, but you don't know if it's a real one. I have no idea, but look it up. What's in the, I don't want to bring my clubs. I don't want to deal with it's it. A lot, yeah. Just I don't uh, take a couple of days off. Maybe I'll play later today, then come back, get ready. You know, whatever. All right. Well, let's let's wrap this up. I feel no, like. we still got six minutes at least. We've given the people. No, it's not more than, more than enough of you and your bad attitude and your terrible emotional state. I didn't have a bad attitude at I all. I don't I'm know just, what is going on with you, but the I'm last just couple tired. times you've done podcasts, you're just like, are you depressed? No, I'm tired. So why are you I'm, like, okay, but you're always tired. There's always and my things. stomach is. You ever come to the podcast and be like, hey, I'm in a great mood. Let's do this. This is fun. I want to thank all my fans. I want to thank everyone who listens to the podcast. Like and subscribe and do all the stuff that you're supposed to do. <laughs> thank oh. you so much. Our 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 gratitude is enormous. Um, you know. No, you're like. Mm. You don't do that either. So shut up. You just. Well, at least I have a little bit of spunk. You didn't do. You've never done that. First of all, all I just did it. I just, just did no, it. You did it. I by, just did it. Plus, I just did it. Okay, you know the. I pain? just did it. All right. I, I just did it. 
You know the pain I've had in my stomach that I used to get? It you came back. You always have a pain. You always have. If you don't want to do the podcast because it's too hard for you to come to work I love every the podcast. one hour every week, then don't do it. Then let's no. shut it down. No, or don't you can give me a lecture. For one hour every week. Or can you listen without yapping do? so long? I said my stomach has been hurting for three days again out of I nowhere. I just said I don't care. This is uh. not the place to be discussing it. This is the place where you go, let me just not think about that. Let me shove that down. Remember? I can't shove My it down because it hurts. Shove it down. No. Shove down any pain. If you want to be a performer, if you're going on stage, do you sit up there and go, my stomach hurts. Sometimes I do. It's been hurting. Well, then you're not going to get people coming to see you very often, are you? They do. A lot of people that have stomach problems come to see me. Are you the stomach problem guy? Yeah, I'm trying to. You're going to love this guy. I almost never leave the house because of my stomach problems, but I'm going to go see this guy. Yeah. He also has stomach problems. That's that's my uh, core audience. My core audience. Has problems with their core. That's that's what I said that for. And I got up at 6.30 today so I could go return my stupid rental car. And I, I know, drove all the way to New York last night to hang out and do sets. I did one set, and Rain was supposed to sleep at her friend's. I do one set, and I'm hanging out with all my buddies. And then she called and goes, I can't sleep with my friends. You got to come home. And I drove all the way in to drive all the way back last night. Kids, right? I'm telling you. it's And, and then, you know, I get up early. So, yeah, I'm a little beaten down. I got to... It pack. doesn't, but I'm saying it doesn't matter if you're beaten down. You go, hi. You, you never listen. If this was like one out of every five, you're like, Ugh. I'm not like, always okay, fine. But you're not. You're like this every single time. That's and not it's, true. It's not fun. To, do you think it's fun to talk to someone who never has anything good to say or never has any interesting I thing did, to say, I or never has any this. fun thing to say? Do you think that's enjoyable to a be a part of, be listened to? Well, C-B-A. listening, oh, well, good. Start off with that. C to be A. You're a C. You're a fucking A. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but do you see what I'm saying like there? Listen, you have a high, all right, little you joy, easily, little moment. You can easily find the negative in everything. Look at the positive, Mrs. Oh, I don't care. Get whatever artwork you like. And then four months later, what the fuck did you get that for? I see? never listen. You don't know what's going to happen four months from now. You're projecting. You asked me if I like the artwork. I said, go ahead and get it. You didn't get it because you were like, no. I already you left. Hate it. You're just saying it. Well, you didn't like it. But it's it was like colorful. Like it. It's like we have 7,000 of those exact same no, pictures. I'm trying to do the basement. Make yeah, but it, why do you want to do the basement exactly like it's like no, every I'm not, I'm trying exactly to, the same like haunted no. pictures of the Victorian era. I see your modern picture, so I'll get another modern picture from the basement. Even like the one behind you, that ugly type of this modern corporate. fucking hotel. I yeah. know. That's what the big one you put down there, even though I like it and it's modern, but it, you know, you've always liked that shit. Glass tables that you could hit, cut you're, your head on. What a wonderful. I'm glad my words really sink in. What I'm saying, you like no, modern you're, furniture. Yes, you're, you're, you like, a, you're just a, a joy to be around. You know that. You remember you, what you? Your what you, your vibe sparks wait, such. Let, let me tell like, you what happiness you, in others. Let me tell you what Bonnie. Back in the day, Bonnie had an apartment in L.A. Oh, I, you love telling a story. I, I see nothing. I didn't wrong. tell the story ever before. Yes, you have. I've heard you say it, uh, uh, maybe not on this podcast, maybe on others, but you've definitely. No, I never said it. Yes, I know. Okay, so then how would I know exactly what you're going to say? Which is that I, once (laughs) I met you and started living with you, I kept my apartment in LA and my friend and I, she lived somewhere else. We were going to keep it as like a place where we could come in. And split it? And split it so she would be there sometimes when she came into town and I'd be there sometimes when I came into town. And we tried to, um, we bought new furniture and stuff and tried to decorate it like like an Airbnb or a, like a, a, hotel. a hotel. Yeah. And it looked good. I don't, can you let me but finish? Why, I don't understand why you bring that up. It's like, let me tell you what Bonnie did one time. <laughs> I'm saying, okay. 
<laughs> well, how could that be bad? I don't get it. I didn't say it's bad. I didn't say it's bad. I'm saying what type of furniture you like. You didn't let me finish. I was saying it looked good, but you liked mo- you bought like a modern couch and mod- modern sofa and mod- well, it, modern. But by modern, do you mean new? Yes, we bought new things, not from a fucking you know thrift store as you love I, to. I love that one store. What's it called? Humanitarian? No. Uh, I forget what it's called, but I well, love take it. Take your time. No one's listening now anyway. <laughs> Everybody's it's listening. Done. It's over. Yeah. It's not over. Did you see the picture I put up of Rain and her friends? They all dressed up and tried yeah, to imitate me. Yeah, I put it me. on my Instagram stories. It's really kind of funny. funny. They, uh, one of them looked like you, though. <laughs> okay. Did, Anyhow, listen, I got to wrap this up. We're almost at 41 minutes. I have, a, I have a meeting in 20 minutes. I got to take a nap. I'm exhausted. Okay. Thank you for not being able to last two minutes before saying that. What are you talking about? You're I listening. said stop being a whiny bitch on this podcast. And you're like, eh, I'm so tired. You just said I'm going to wrap it up. And then you're like, ooh, I can't <laughs> take it. I, I, I got an offer from a club today for next I May. I have a feeling this is going to be a terrible. No. For, this is going to be a complaint. This started off as you complaining that your sister was ripping you off over plaques at, at your family's funeral plots. Yeah. Okay. And it's, listen, it's, it's clickety click, click. Every single story is the same. Think about that. No, no, no. Every no. single story is somebody's doing Richard Voss wrong. Somebody's doing me wrong song. Uh, do you want to hear my new favorite song? No, because you're too tired. Huh? I'm not gotta too tired. Gotta go to bed. What do you mean I gotta listen? You uh, just said your stomach hurts, you're too tired. You better get off this podcast. I got an offer for a club in May in May 2022 and I I wanted to go are you sure you're writing to me uh, but I guess they're doing all their offers already this is my new favorite song Take that. you're a lot I will say that I like that song by Barbara Streisand going down the stony end okay stony thank end. you have you sharing. ever heard it before huh it's nice to see that you, there's something that still brings you happiness in life that song by Barbara Streisand I play it a couple times a day it makes me smile Okay, good. Oh, oh there me. you go. Very Seems happy a here. Tingle. I have- All right. Well, thanks everybody. If you're at Later, in me- Austin, Texas, come to the Creek in the Cave this weekend to see Rich Voss. Thursday through Saturday. I will not be performing because I'm not even supposed to be out as not- per our um, quarantining rules. But I'm going to go one night. I'll be at the stand. I'm going to wear my mask time. the whole time. Uh, I'll be at the stand the third and the fourth, 16, 17, and 18, or 17 and 18. I'll be at the funny, funny stop in Cuyahoga Falls. And then the last week, oh no, uh, I don't know. I got Vegas coming up. Just go to richvoss.com. Creeps, Creeps, Long Island, September 25th. Creeps, Long Island, Pat Shock Theater. Hatchock Theater. We're coming back. We're coming back, folks. The 25th Hatchock Theater. This weekend, Creek in the Cave. Looking forward to seeing my wife again. It's been a while. Uh, I'll look her in the eye for a minute or so. Look at the said, camera for a second so it looks like you're looking at me. Oh. When I had my... Gla- I bought stuff to get the bags from under my eyes. I bought one thing for like forty dollars. Then I looked up. They said the best one was like eighty, but I don't think any of those work. I think it looks good. It seems to be working. Really? Mm-hmm. You look good. Uh, I'm going bald. No, going bald. I can't wanna... tell. You're always wearing that dumb hat. There, that looks good. You, you look see good. It? You can't tell. I, I, I'm telling you, if I wet my well, don't, hair. Don't do that. Just It's fine. You got a lot of hair still. You're good. Uh, not right here. I'm losing right, it right you're, here. You're you know, obsessive. the island people get in the front of their head. You're fine. And I know I'm fine, but I'm losing my hair. 
Yo, man. <laughs> All right. I Wait, love what's you. a funny clip? Tell them a funny clip out of this. I, well, th- that's what happens after we're done. So thank you, everyone. What are you leaving now? Is that Richard, it? Richard, say goodbye. Oh, okay. Hey, listen, I want to thank everybody for listening. I want to thank all my all of our fans. Go. Tell friends. Let's get the word out there. It's been eight or nine years since we've been doing this. Let's get the word out there. And thank you. Thank you to the to the people that have been with us from the beginning. Uh, I really want to thank you. You know who you are. Rich, uh, you sound like you're not being actually thankful, so you don't have to do it for two hours. Okay. I'm being thankful. Uh, we're done. Thank you. Goodbye. My Wife Hates Me was created and hosted by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast by visiting mywifehatesmepodcast.com. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some smug. He's totally holy as an asinine bum and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.